Hey guys, now we're here for our fun parks and game centres in Japan playlist. Today we're at round one. We're going to try some bowling. So go to this machine, tell it how many people, how many games, how many of us need shoes. Put in some money, gives us a ticket, tells us what lane to go to. Then we go to the big wall of shoes. Push, <laughs> push the button for whatever size shoes we want and they pop out the bottom. Except if your shoes happen to be 28 or 27 and a half centimetres or bigger, in which case you have to go to the counter and ask. And say, excuse me, I'm a freak, so can I have some shoes? And they give you some shoes. Interesting, last time I tried bowling was a long time ago and they gave you shoes that looked like clown shoes. These are actually pretty normal looking shoes, aren't they? So that was good. Have a look at this. This is the layout of this particular bowling place. Looks a bit spacey. See the seat goes sideways? Sort of makes it interesting. When the other people are bowling, you have to sort of turn sideways. And then when it's your turn, you have to push past everybody else. It's a little bit of a funny design. And obviously lots of screens, lots of technology. So three big screens there. The staff come along and show you how to use them. So couldn't quite work out how to use them. Some strange things were happening. Um, don't know what was going on there. Pushed the wrong button or something. Oh, yeah. And because you're sitting sideways, it's hard to see the aisle. It's hard to see the lane. They've got a little video playing on the screen so you can see what you just missed. Isn't that funny? Yeah. And, of course, you can order food and do all sorts of other good things, call the staff, all sorts of things with the big screens. High-tech bowling, is it? It was pretty good. And then the food menu, of course, and the alcohol menu, of course, because you can buy alcohol just about anywhere in Japan. So you can sit there on your seat and push the button and they shall bring you beer. <laughs> you have to be happy with that. In this case, we didn't get beer. We got one of these very expensive drinks. <laughs> it was expensive because it came with a little uh, anime token thing that was very important that we get, apparently. So it was about 680 yen for that drink. About $6 or more. But uh, why not? Good fun. So pretty busy. This is a Sunday during the winter holidays, so pretty busy. Lots of anime going on constantly and really loud, really loud. Any entertainment venue in Japan, as we've mentioned on previous videos, super loud, constantly. It's sort of like they, they think this is the place, you know, that usually Japan's pretty quiet and sort of subdued place. But when you go to anywhere for entertainment, it's always super, super loud. Oh, this is interesting. The bumper bowling for the kids, when it's a kid's turn to bowl, the bumper automatically comes up. The little rail automatically comes up and keeps the ball from going into the gutter. And as soon as the kids bowl their second ball, the bumper goes back down again. Isn't that clever? Last time I went bowling, they put down a big sort of cushion in the, in the gutter to stop the ball going in. So that was very interesting innovation. Very good, very, very good. So yeah, an ad for some anime movie that's coming. And again, loud, everything's loud, super, super loud, screaming loud. You go home with your ears ringing. Oh, this is a special moonlight thing. If you get a strike during this, you'll get free pass to come and bowl again or something like that. Everybody waits and then there's a big thing that comes on the screen and says clap and everybody claps, of course, because that's what they do. So pretty loud, pretty bright. If you if you're subject to epileptic problems, um, not, probably not the place for you. Really flashy, bright, loud. There's the clapping thing, and everybody clapped. Everybody was clapping to build up the excitement. <laughs> it was good. It was all good. It was all good fun. But just loud, loud and bright. Really loud and bright for this old man. <laughs> You imagine if you're really serious about bowling, all this would be quite distracting, wouldn't it? You would think. So going for a strike here, because you get free bowling if you get a strike. Nine. You get nothing for a nine. 
oh well. So I've got a new part-time job anyway, um, promoting the uh, round one bowling place. So let's go bowling, everybody. <laughs> More videos coming soon.